Okay, here is the unboxing of the video card. The Gigabyte GTX 4800. It has, it looks like, 1.5 gigabytes of memory on the board. It supports NVIDIA's 3D Vision. Too bad my monitor won't support that. It's DirectX 11. It supports 7.1 digital surround sound. My receiver's only 5.1. Too bad, it's a hand-me-down receiver. It does mini HDMI. It has a mini HDMI to HDMI cable inside. That's nice. Wish I'd known that because I went out and bought a mini HDMI cable. But that's okay. My phone has a mini HDMI port on it. So now I have one for my phone too. Okay, unboxing. Let's open this box up. By the way, this box, I'm gonna hate to throw this away. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see this in the video cam camera. This thing is pearlescent. Yeah, they spent some money on this box. Well, they should have. This was not a cheap video card. So, outer box away. We have the inner box now. Pulling this open. First thing I see, the mini HDMI to HDMI cable. Probably a good thing I bought a cable. This is not gonna be long enough for my monitor. User's manual, along with the graphics accelerator CD and the free app CD. Let's take a look at the free app CD and see if it says anything about what it contains. Real quick. It has, let's zoom in on this so we can see it a little bit better. Oop, too much. It says free apps, test drive your GeForce. It has supersonic sled, design. You know, looking at this, I'm probably not, I'm gonna be underwhelmed by those apps. So let's get the video camera back out where we can see the main feature today, the card itself. So let me get this out of the way, the user's manual. This is a big honking card. Let me put this down on the cut mat so you can get an idea how big it is. Now, each one of these squares is an inch. This thing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 inches long. It is one, two, three, four inches wide. This is not a small video card, probably the biggest video card I have ever dealt with. Let's get the anti-static wrapper off. Again, I live in an environment where I don't care about static. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, here she is, out of her packaging. Very heavy card. Again, it's 11, 12 inches long. It's one inch thick, and it is four inches wide. You better have some room in a case for this thing. Good thing on that case I bought, there is room for it because this doesn't go anywhere near anything. The back side of the card, pretty plain, looks like a circuit board. The top, four large cooling pipes coming out of the top, along with um, power connectors. There are two of these. Let's zoom that in just a tad bit so we can see them better. There's the power connectors on this end. We move, there's the cooling pipes. That is the SLI connectors on the other end, okay? On the back of the card, we have the mini HDMI port, and it is a dual head card, so it will support two monitors off the back. This thing's got enough horsepower, it can run two monitors. Up here, we have a lot of slots for the cooling. This thing's gonna take up two slots on the back of the case. That's one of the reasons the PCI slots are so spread out on the motherboard. Not much to say other than this is one heavy card. Very heavy, very shiny. Don't think anyone will ever see these graphics, so I don't know why anyone cares. The only view you're gonna get out of it is that, where it does say GeForce and you'll see the cooling pipes. Like I said, she's a monster of a card, very heavy. She's not the fastest card on the market. Could have gotten a faster one, but I would have spent $100 more and I'm not a monster when it comes to getting 
the best performance possible out of the video card, out of my computer. I will go with second best and save the money. Because you know, at this point in time, I saved $100 on the motherboard. Being honest, the next up processor would have been $300 more, so there's $400. Saved $100 by not going all out on the video card. There's $500 I saved. Add $200 more to that, maybe $300 more, and I got a week in Vegas. I'll throw out that extra performance and spend a week in Vegas. Just my opinion. All right, well, thank you for watching. This is the end of the out of box review on the video card. There will be more on the video card when I put it on the motherboard. Thank you. One last part. I forgot to look in here. Open this up. We have a DVI to regular serial video and power connector. So a couple of power connectors so you can get power to the video card. Yes, each one of those power connectors goes to two of the standard Molex connectors. Now, like I said, this thing's power hungry. Most of the high-end video cards are. You just can't help it because they're doing so much processing. Again, thank you and have a good one.